Welcome to A House Around the Corner, I'm your host Trisha Zima and today Carol Broxham has joined us from the Moe Life Skills. Welcome. Thank you. Now you have a very special project going on at Moe Life Skills, can you explain that to me? We have a theatre group called Curtains for Certain and through that theatre group we offer theatre studies to students with disabilities, predominantly students with intellectual disabilities. This provides students with an opportunity to write and perform their own productions. And each year, students perform at the local town hall. Now, what are the benefits to the students of this type of project? Well, there are a number of benefits. There are benefits for the individual student in terms of developing their skills, their confidence, their self-awareness, and there are a number of benefits for the local community. When we have students performing it's through those real connections in those real life settings that allows the focus to shift very naturally to the person behind the disability. Now we were lucky enough to make the dress rehearsal of this year's production, Viva Las Vegas. How did it go on the night? Tremendously well. Um, we almost had a full house. We had a number of distinguished guests last year well supported by the community and by businesses in the community. It was extremely funny. As always in the lead up to these productions, everything goes wrong. And even in the rehearsal stage, everyone thinks it's never going to happen. But on the night, it's the magic of the performance. It all comes together and it was tremendous. And they brought the house down. Lights, camera, action. It's time for these extraordinary students in Viva Las Vegas. My name is Wendy Gibson. I'm the director and writer and I perform with the Moe Life Skills Curtain for Certain Drama Group. Okay, Troy, what, what role do you play in the performance? I'm a shy girl. Hurdy and Cuba. Hurdy McBoob. Hurdy and Do. Thanks, Troy. Cassandra, what's your role in the performance? I'm Annie. Annie, and are you another role as well to start with? A passenger. A passenger on the plane. And what's your role, Justin? Candy. Candy Mile High. She's our airline steward. Ah, yes. And do you have another role? <coughs> yes. And what's her name? Dolly Partham. Dolly Partham. And Lee, we'll leave that to your imagination. And here we have John Kelly. My name is David Copper Copperfield. Copperfield, our magician. Andrew. So what roles do you have? Your first one. What are you dressed for now? Suzuki car. Passenger. Car. And yes. yes. And then what do you do? Do ballet. And here we have. Catherine, who plays? Albus Pressme. Albus Pressme. And Angela, how many? You have a few roles, don't you? Yeah, they're good. And what's your first one? A passengers. Passenger. And then what do you do? I do the Tina Turner round. Tina Turner round. This is Paul. And Paul. Button duck. Your chief sitting duck. He's our search engine. And last but not least, Craig Anderson. And I play uh, Mike Wright. It's the pilot. The pilot, and I'm also the Sloan Ranger, our the compare. show lounge compare. That's our cast. The theatre group originated about 15 years ago with some of the students having goals that they would like to perform. And there was a performance in Horsham and a, a, a festival. So 
some of the actors got together and um, staff who had some acting experience and they originate, their drama group originated from that. Please turn your attention to your stewardess, Candy Mile High, for some safety tips. They're just a precaution as we haven't had a crash for a few weeks now. If you can't see exit signs, you must be bloody blind. There is no smoking aboard this aircraft. Introduce to you one of our search engines, Chief Sittender. Hell, I still have reservations about him. My name's Luana Brock, and I work at Maui Life Skills. Been there for about 11 years, and I'm an instructor as well as an adult education coordinator. People who come to Maui Life Skills Community Centre have an intellectual disability. We have people that come from specialist schools and special developmental schools. So we have some people in our drama group that can't read and can't write. They may be able to recognise their name and they can recognise symbols such as the symbol for Coke, but they may not be able to actually read those letters. So we're talking about people with particularly very low literacy, numeracy and oracy skills. If the students who attend Maori Life Skills, they have goals and aspirations and some of their goals were to perform. So you need to put a bit more acting into your Elvis to make it pat it out again. Wow! So some of the changes we see in the students are obviously confidence. Um, you might see someone who's been here for a year or two and so we only give them a, a line or two if they're confident. Sometimes it might just be acting. Uh, but they will start to shine and they might come out of themselves a bit and they might ask for more lines the, the following year. Other people who've been doing it for a long time, it's, uh, they take a bit of more responsibility and they um, might critique other performers and they give feedback and guidance. So that's really lovely. Perhaps, perhaps, perhaps. The way it's affected the students in their growth, it varies from um, maybe someone being a little bit more confident, maybe to go to a cafe by themselves, to buy a coffee, to speaking to in front of the crowd of 400 people, or to um, meeting the, the audience afterwards and having a bit of co conversation with them, saying, did I do my act well? I love drama because it made me grow as a person. That dancing must make you hungry. Yes, I love Pavlova. Me too, I mean. I love drama because I like acting. So the changes in some of the students, Justin for example has been involved for 15 years, he's one of the original cast members. Um, his confidence, well he's always had confidence but I think that's grown of course but his self-esteem and I think he has been travelling independently and the fact that I think he thinks now I can do this and um, just, you know, I can perform on stage, I can do lots of things. He volunteers now at a local nursing home and he's travelling, meeting his sister in Melbourne by himself. And Catherine, who's only been involved for a couple of years, she was very quiet, but 
she's asked for more lines this year, which is great, and she's taking on the responsibility. So it's lovely. And she's actually a very good organiser, which we didn't know until we started this. Are they real? You have got a, you have got a suspicious mind. This form of learning improves life skills because I think it's, it's real. It's not a sit down in a classroom where sometimes the information goes in one ear and out the other. It's meaningful. So, you know, if, if the students are asked to be at the town hall by nine o'clock, so it's time management skills. They're asked to wait. You know, they have to learn patience skills. They have to follow direction. And they're all life skills and they're all um, employability skills. The Learn Local Award was amazing. We um, were thrilled to be in the top three. Last finalist in this category is Moe Life Skills Community Centre. We're engaging with skills development through theatre. Congratulations to all of our finalists and Minister. The Outstanding Pre-Accredited Program Award goes to Maui Life Skills. The best thing is just having a laugh at myself not being me for one night. I might not be tall and dark, but I am handsome. Marry me, puppy. <gasps> A lot of people get the opportunity to shine, whether it be through sport, because they play in a sporting team and they maybe win their grand final. Um, a lot of people with intellectual disabilities maybe don't have that time to shine. So for the people in the theatre group, this is their time.